Hey everybody, Techie101 here. How you doing? Welcome back to my Pokemon Prism Nuzlocke, part number seven. What do you think, Briar? Wee! Vampire. She's just running around town with the cape flowing in the wind. Everyone's just kind of looking at her, kind of, kind of, kind of freaky. Oh, did you take a look at that new? I don't have it queued up, but did you guys take a look at that new fan art I have in the, uh, in the old uh, thumbnail there? Let me just, oh, yeah, it's right here. Cool, cool, cool. So this is uh, some more artwork that Hector Roman did. And I think I'm actually going to pop that down in the description, Hector Roman's uh, DeviantArt. Because he's done a lot of artwork for Briar and uh, some other stuff on the uh, thing. Um, before I get into the actual episode, I actually want to just, a little addendum to the fan art thing. Just to make this a lot easier to, to see. Because I originally just said tweet them at me. And the problem with that is, you know, if I don't catch them right away, they can kind of just disappear in the mire of, like, Twitter. So, uh, if you make fan art for the stream, I, uh, you could still tweet it at me, and I, I could get it there, and I might retweet it or whatever. I might, I might not, depends on if I see it or not, and when I, you know, when you upload it and everything. But, uh, if you want me to, like, I, I would also really highly recommend you send it to my email, teching101 at gmail.com. That way, it's like, it's just an actual copy uh, make sure it's a PNG image, uh, if you want me to, like, use it, like, if it's going to be an image of Briar, or if it's going to be an image of, like, one of the Pokemon, make sure it's, like, a PNG, or it's, like, a transparent image, so I could just pop it in there, or if not a PNG image, at least make it, like, a solid color background, something that I could remove rather easily, um, but yeah, just, just to make that, because I know, I, I know for a fact there was a few pieces of artwork that I've missed. I know someone sent me a piece of Dante artwork, and it was really badass. Dante was, like, holding a scythe or some shit, and that kind of, I saw it, and, uh, I couldn't find it the next day. So, uh, that would probably be the better method of actually sending me the, uh, stuff. You can still tweet them at me, I might still retweet them if I see them or whatever, but if you just want to make sure I get it 100% and I give you your, you know, your name, like, who actually drew it in the stream, make sure you just send that to my email, techie101 at gmail.com, so we can at least have a nice little compilation of all these. Okay, so, uh... Last time we arrived here, what the fuck is this place called? Laurel City. Yeah, that's just don't right. Yeah, Laurel City. Don't 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 rest on your laurels. That was the joke I made about this. This was the city where we defeated Brooklyn, who uh, was chilling out there with Briar, and and you know whatever. She she's kind of cute. Whatever. Everyone everyone in this town is a freaking gossiper. This is like a freaking high school. Everyone's like, oh yeah, that Brooklyn. She's such a bitch. Like, what are you gonna say? You have something to say about Brooklyn? A new shop opened up here recently. Okay, well that's. Uh, okay, well, what about, uh, what, hey, you, 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 it's so silly, the gym leader thinks she's some sort of queen, yeah, see, right there, I can't stand it, people are talking about Brooklyn behind her back, I thought she was actually kind of nice, um, yeah, the name writer's here, if you want to change the name, so that's neat, um, okay, so, rule 34, Blair, I'm pretty sure Blair was already rule 34 at some point, um, the Blair Witch, that character never even appeared in the movie, and yet there's rule 34 artwork of her? <laughs> You know what? I wouldn't put it past the internet. Would not put it past the internet. Okay, one thing also we have to address now, and it's something that I didn't even realize until the last, um, this isn't Twitch. I don't, I got banned from Twitch. I don't like to go to Twitch anymore. Twitch, Twitch doesn't want me. But anyway, last time I, I was looking through the footage and I saw something and I didn't, uh, I didn't realize it until, like, you know, after the episode was there. But let me, uh, let me show you something here. This this might potentially be a problem, but I do I do have kind of a workaround, all right? So, you can see here in this handy little section it tells you that where you meet the Pokémon at, you know, like we met Larvacroft at night in the Aqua Mines. Spill uh, still misspelled a little bit there, but uh check this out. We met Reginald at Clathrite Tunnel and we also met Eskimoe at the Clathrite Tunnel. Yeah, see, I don't even remember this. I actually do not remember where we caught Reginald. I actually tried to think, like, where the fuck did we catch Reginald? And I, I could not think of it. I had to go back and check the footage. But yeah, so uh, that is actually in violation of the rules of a Nuzlocke. Because uh, you can only catch one Pokemon in each area. But at the same time, uh, we've kind of bonded with them. So I have, um, I have a, I want you to listen to my possible solution to this problem. I've actually have two. Um, 
So one of my solutions to this is actually having like a life bond kind of thing. And what I mean by that is Eskimoe and Reginald are now like essentially bonded. And if one of them dies, we have to kill both of them. That was one solution I had. Um, so if we're in a battle and Reginald dies, Eskimoe dies as well. We have to release both of them at the same time. Uh, another one is um, we just skip a route. Or we could do both. That's, uh, that's, that's both of my possible... I'm, I'm presenting them to you as possible workarounds here. Because I really don't want to kick either of them. Release every Pokemon. That is the, that is the only... Oh, okay, guys. Nuzlocke's over. Later. <laughs> uh... Why did you get banned? I got banned because I was trying to play a, um... I was trying to play Yandere Simulator, and I say trying to play because, um, I didn't even actually play the game. I just booted it up, and I like the starting screen, and I got banned before I even even pressed start. So that was kind of shitty. Uh, so that's, that's my situation here. We gotta have fr Frost Lass. I know, we gotta have Frost Lass. Oh shit, 50 bucks from Autry Durnap. Teching, why worry? All your Pokemon will die soon. Aw, oh, that's so reassuring, Aud Is that Audrey or Autry? Autry, okay, I knew a friend name. I have a friend by the name of Audrey. Just skip a route, skip a route. Kill both. Well, we're not killing both. But I think I, we can do both of those solutions. We can have the life bond thing and also skip a next route. I kind of want to do both of those. I think that's kind of like doubly, doubly uh, secure there. Now let's go into this area here. Now this area we were in here last time, this is like the Magikarp Caverns. And I actually do not, um, I don't think we could catch a Pokemon in here because I was wandering around, hold on, let me put my fucking headphones here. We were wandering around here a lot last time and I don't think we ran into any Pokemon, so I don't think there's anybody in here. 50 bucks to talk smack. Hey man, that's the internet right there. So, uh, this is the start of a little puzzle. And some people were actually not this guy. Hold, yeah, this is the guy that just wants to make sure we don't get hurt. He's very concerned about our well-being. So thank you, random old man in the back of a cave. But, um, apparently there's a puzzle coming up. So I did a little bit of, uh, research on this. And there's a kind of like a puzzle in this cave where... I shit you not, you get turned into a Magikarp, and you are, like, sent into a bunch of different, like, currents. Like, you know that, 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 that uh, part in uh, Gen 3, where you have to fight against the currents? So, uh, yeah, like, there's basically a massive fuck-off puzzle of that. Like, or the thing you have to do in, um, uh, Seafoam Caverns. To do more would be excessive. Nah, I think we have to be excessive, though. That's the point. I don't have a mining pick. Uh, okay, I think it's this guy. Welcome! I see you have found your way around the sacred fish. Um, fish sticks? Fish sticks? Fish sticks! Yes, sir, I have. Oh, so you failed to notice how this cave is designed. I have aligned the rocks in here to look like the Pokémon I idolize. Oh my god, so we've been walking around a giant Magikarp for like the last five minutes? My god, that's sad. My ancestors would pray on a daily basis for the fish to- Oh, but so he- he worships Magikarp as like a straight up god. What do you mean, Gyarados? BLASPHEMY! You gotta love any Pokemon game, you gotta love any game really that just shouts BLASPHEMY! I talk about its former birth form. Okay, you know what? I'm done arguing with non-believers. Oh my god. What's that? The path in the forest is blocked? Why would I randomly mention that? Ha ha! You know what? I'll tell you how to get that fellow to move if you complete a small task for me. I have the ability to change you into a real Magikarp. I have the ability to change you a living, well, a non-living, non-breathing vampire into a actual Pokemon. Is his power only limited to a Magikarp? That's the question I'm curious about. Like, could he turn me into a Dratini if, if, if he wanted to? 
Yeah, he's a gay fish. <laughs> you gay fish, man. Really, I do not lie. In that legendary form, <laughs> you'll get to experience what Magikarp around. Oh, I see what they're doing. I see what they're doing. Okay. So, because Magikarp is always the most hated Pokemon, or not the most hated, but like the most ridiculed, we're gonna do a little bit of, uh, we're gonna do a little bit of karmic punishment here, and he's gonna transform us into the Magikarp, so we get to know what it's like! Then maybe you won't think we are so weak. Also, keep in mind that once the task begins, I will not change you back until you fully complete the task. That's actually a high order here, but... I'm guessing we have to do this to progress. You intend to carry such a large full bag as a Magikarp? You should leave some stuff in your PC. Oh, okay, well, I mean, do, do I have to, or can I just... Oh, you're just... Okay, you're just gonna do all this bullshit again, alright. My god, that's a lot of text. Uh... Okay, oh, okay, I guess, alright, I guess we do have to go all the way out to ditch stuff in our PC. Thank god for Larvacroft! <laughs> that puzzle is not fun, it's too time consuming. Alright, well that's because I love you guys and I will not, I will not subject you to me fucking around with a puzzle for 45 minutes. I have a YouTube video here to my left. Don't worry, we'll get through the puzzle, okay? We'll get through the puzzle probably under 5 minutes, I just... Because I, I, time is of the essence. I don't want to be playing this game to the end of time. I have absolutely no, I have no idea how long this game is. But just by looking at how many badges we have remaining, I could pretty much assume, even if there's a gym in every single town, we're going to be at this for a while. So I'm not going to subject an entire episode for like 45 minutes trying to figure out a puzzle. Okay, wait, we had, we had to dump stuff in our PC. I just went into heal. We didn't even get into a battle. Alright. So I have... Shit, so do... Do we have to dump everything? Because I have, like... I have, like, a lot of shit in here. You want me to dump my fries? I can't even bring a, a, a pack of fries with the Magikarp? Sody Pop? Maybe it's just, like, the key item shit. Super Heaven! Uh... We need a full puzzle livestream, though. Oh, no, we don't. Dump everything and... Okay. Alright, I'm not going all the way back in there and then digging back out, so let's just fuck it. Let's dump everything. Because if he's gonna turn me into a Magikarp, then I would like to assume that we're not going to fight anything. <laughs> oh, God, that might be what he meant. That might be what he meant, like, we're gonna, I'm gonna turn you into a Magikarp so you know what it's like. And then we run into a fucking Sharpedo in there or some shit, and it's like, Now you know what it's like! <laughs> having to fight against- having, having nothing but splash in your fucking repertoire. Magikarp is bay. I have nothing against uh, Magikarp's design. When me and my friend Zach were at Teco over the weekend, uh, he almost bought a- there was a giant golden Magikarp plushie. It was a, um, it was a shiny plushie. It was huge, and it was like 50 bucks. Uh, so he didn't buy it, but, uh, it was pretty cool. I almost bought it, because there's only, like, one of them. But what would I do with a giant, shiny Magikarp? I mean, really. Man, that guy really moved all these stones around just to make it look like a magic. This guy is devoted to the carp. We have to, we have to make him think we are true believers. We're like, I have now seen the error of my ways. I now believe in the carp. Carp, carp, carp. Don't hate on Magikarp. I feel like there's worse Pokemon out there than Magikarp, you know? I think Magikarp is always, like, the quintessential shitty Pokemon. There's gotta be a Pokemon shittier than Magikarp, just in terms of stats. Like, like one of the baby Pokemon has to be shittier than Magikarp, you know? I see you found your way around. Oh, blah, blah. Please tell me we can go in. Uh, okay. And, yes, we have a deal. Good. Go for it! Oh, go okay, you just... Alright, you just turn me into a fish. Alright, well, let's do what I normally do around puzzles. Just randomly fuck off until I find something that works. Oh, okay, that's actually cool. If we ever catch a Poliwhirl or a, or a Shelder, I think Shelder uses the Water Stone. 
Um, I can't think of any other Poke- uh, uh, An Eevee? We could get a Vaporeon. Gen 3 has all the worst Pokemon. Screw you, man. Sharpedo's awesome. Uh, okay, I think going down will just do the exact same thing. So let's try doing this. Okay, that did the exact same thing. Okay, that did the exact same thing. All right, we might have to bust out that... Uh, oh, okay, this, this is something different. All right, what do the Whirlpools do? Do they do, like, different shit? All right. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, let's find out. Oh, it warps you. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, fuck that. Okay, no. Hold on. <laughs> fuck that! Let's, uh... I made it through the first... I made it through the first level. I'm fine with that. Awesome. I'm watching a walkthrough right now, by the way. I'm just... I'm getting through this as quick as possible. Okay, we go up. Okay, and that'll take us to... I don't even really care about the items right about now, you know what I mean? I don't even care about the items. Items can... Unless it's like a freaking, uh... Master Ball or something, I highly doubt... Oh! I think this walkthrough might also... Oh, cool, that'll be good for Reginald. Alright. And b before you say I'm cheating, you, we would literally probably... Because everyone has warned me about this puzzle. People have warned me, like, this puzzle is relentlessly hard. So, um... And this isn't like a normal puzzle you find in a Pokemon game. This, These are fucking Pokemon fans that sat down and made this puzzle. So you know it's not gonna be easy. Alright, we got the Mystic Water. And by the way, this, this, this walkthrough is like... It's... It's... It's like less than three minutes. So... I'm just kind of... Hold on. Okay, so this should take us into a new room. Yep. And I think we can only go up from here. Yep. Alright. Go up. Go up again. Okay. We're on the fast track to Now Town! So what's it like being a Magikarp? I don't know. I think, uh... You know, I think it's alright. It's aight. Okay, now we go down. Okay. Now we go... Left. Alright, and that'll take us here. And that'll take us down. Alright. Okay, now we're... Yeah, now we're good. Now we're in a different area. Okay, here. Down. Over. Down. Alright, that'll take us there. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, now we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good. I'm like, fuck, I took the wrong way. Alright, now where do we go? Do we go up or left? Almost done, guys. Left. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this shit. Oh, man, we got 400 people in here right now. So, yeah. This... This is mean. This is very mean. Oh, thank you. Thank you to Dunnugs. Dunnugs, spelled N-U-G-G-Z. Dunnugs. And that video only has 246 views. Dunnugs is the true freaking MVP for this episode. I would have been stuck with that for like an hour if it wasn't for him or her or whatever. A sentient f uh, flower pot. I don't know. Thank you, Dunnugs. There's something different about you now. You appear to have gained great respect for the many hardships of the carp. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm staring at my smartphone as I'm as I'm like, what? Wait, don't tell me you looked up a walkthrough on how to get through that. No, 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 no. I I know what carp, carp, carp. <laughs> People who moved here from since solely use their Pokemon as mere tools. You may want to speak to the last remaining descendant of the messenger over on Route 80 for. You both share the same vision of life with Pokemon. Well done, sir. I give you my permission to go south of the Laurel Forest. Oh, good. And he gives us a complimentary dig. He gives us a complimentary escape rope. Awesome. Okay. Mm. Oh, well, okay. First things first. Saving. Okay, both ways. We're saving both ways. I'm not going through that shit again. And I've heard that there are plenty more of those puzzles to come. So, I mean, if the puzzle doesn't look that hard at first, 
I'll give it a shot. But if it looks like something that's just going to be time-consuming, then I'm not even going to bother fucking around with it. That's what the YouTube's for. Carp, carp! I'm already doing a Nuzlocke. I'm already doing the freaking hard part anyway. Give me that silk. I want to make a scarf at the end of this. I want to make that, uh, that, that spider web kind of thing that Briar can hang from her cape. Sa! We should probably try to build a few more pieces of lore with Briar, you know? Like, we know she's a vampire, but, like, what happened in her past? We imply that her dad left. Why did her dad leave her mom? That's the question. Did he cheat on her, or was he, like, uh... You know, was he was he having sex with a Gardevoir across on the, on the side? Was was he into bestiality? I wonder if the people in the Pokemon universe have a specific term for people that are attracted to Pokemon sexually, because it's like bestiality in our world. But like like Pokealisty, like it has to be called something, you know? All right, I guess it's over. Yeah, yeah. All right, I think we're good. I think we, I don't think we have to heal anybody up. Yeah, yeah, we're good. All right, cool, cool. So, south of Laurel Forest, I think that's... Yeah, okay. All right, we already caught something here. Oh, yeah, this is that area where we had... I think this is where we caught um, Shroomish. Which I think somebody sent me an art for Shroomish as well. Pokephilia, that's it. Oh, check out the Execute! They're actually... Uh, uh, surprise, surprise. They're not actually eggs. They are actually seeds. I know, I was surprised by this as well. Okay, I think this is where that guy was standing, so I think this is, from this point onward, I think it's new shit. Oh no, Pikachu! Kill all the Pikachus! They don't deserve to live! If you could choose another mascot for the Pokémon universe, who would it be and why? Yeah, this is a new area. Wow, so many bugs to catch here! That's why I'm a bug catcher! Hey, Lenny. Oh, I have one of those. That's cute. This kind of seems more like a Dante kind of thing. Know what I mean? Dragonite. Dragonite would be pretty fucking cool. Twister, huh? It's not a bad flying move. If used on a Pokemon that actually gives a shit. Light him up! Pre-patch Jinx, <laughs> the roots of the series, yeah. Pre-patch Jinx right there, man. That's everything that was right about Pokemon. Or maybe it was everything that was wrong about Pokemon. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the better thing. Yanma! Okay, we could Mantis can take on a Yanma. Come on now. Oh wait, Bug is super effective on Psychic. That's that's one of those weird matchups that you never really encounter. Oh that that's a level 25 Yanma? What the fuck? Okay, Mantis, we're getting you out of there. Dante. Maybe Eskimo. Uh, fuck it, just Dante. Level 25 Yanma. That was a fucking boost. Holy shit. That is scary. That is scary. Flame wheel it. Please don't hurt yourself. Aw, oh, shit. Gust. Oh, that. Wow. Whoa, okay. Oh, we are not losing to a Yanma. I like you, Yanma. Yanma's a cool- I mean, Yan Mega is fucking epic. If we could get a Yan Mega, I would like that. But, um... Fucking... Oh, shit. Okay, that's not gonna hurt. Okay. Yes! Yes! Just because I love insects and I love studying, like, ancient animals and shit. So, like, there were, like, giant uh, dragonflies that existed back in the day. Back, like, hundreds of millions of years ago that were, like, the size of fucking seagulls and shit. Whew, well, at least that man just still got EXP. Venonat. Alright, we should be able to take on the fucking Venonat. But damn, son. Level 26 Venonat! I thought fucking Dante was overleveled at 27. Damn. Oh, please don't kill me. Oh, that doesn't look good. That looks scary. Okay, we're not. All right, all right, all right. But, oh. Oh, man. Mimichu deserves to be the next mascot better than Pikachu. I actually have a, a Mimichu plushie over there to my left. Mm. 
actually. Oh. Mimichu! <laughs> Mimichu never gets the love it deserves. What is Mimichu's classification? Like, you know how, like, uh, Shroomish is the mushroom Pokemon? What is, what is Mimichu? Is it the unloved Pokemon? It, it would probably be, like, the copy Pokemon or the mimic Pokemon or something like that. Oh, holy crap. That bug catcher brought the fucking burn. Damn. Brought the fire. I gotta stay out of the kitchen. All right. If there's gonna be more of those people, Dante, you're gonna have to lead. Holy shit, we need to grind some more. Mantis is way down there. Man. Yeah, I need to grind, like, big time. I probably should have grinded before I started. I was more worried about the puzzle than I was about the actual, like, level up of these characters. Damn. Alright, yeah, here's another bug catcher. What do you have? A level 50 fucking Venomoth? <laughs> I would... I know it's pronounced Mimic. No, it's not. It's Mimichu. It's a Pikachu. It's mimicking a Pikachu. It's Mimichu. Don't care. Oh, a Sir Skit. We can deal with a Sir Skit. Oh, that's water type, isn't it? That's water bug. Hold on. You're a fucking water bug. I have a, I have a feeling I know who you are. Uh, hold on. I need, uh, I need, uh, my handy dandy Pokedex here. Pokedex time! Actually, Alexa, what type of... Alexa, what type of Pokemon is Surskit? Yep. Thank you, Alexa. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. Uh, yeah. So... Uh, bug and water, I think... I think Reginald or Mr. Savage will be fine. Reginald's higher level. So, I think Reginald will be fine. Yeah. Level 24 Surskit, that thing might know Water Gun. Oh, well, oh, Rain Dance plus Water Gun. That would be a lovely combo. I think that's the first time we saw Rain in this version. Bubble Bee, let's just double slap it. Ow! What the f Man! It didn't hurt, but still! Yeah, three slaps in the face! Frickin' water bug? Masquerade is over. I like Masquerade. Masquerade's a cool Pokemon. Oh, no, Masquerin! There we go, not Masquerade, sorry, Masquerin. Okay, well there's Masquerin. Evolved form of Surskit. That looks cute. Aw, oh, shit, it has Intimidate. Well, it- okay, you know, Rain Dance is still in effect. Let's use Bubble Beam. Oh, you busted out the bubbles, too! Masquerin is OP in Sun and Moon. Yeah, I, I think even with the Rain Dance boost, I don't think it's worth it. Let's try doing that huge power tackle. See what that does. Alexa's mist hecking. Aw, oh, that's cute. Oh, that'll do- oh, that was a crit, okay. Let's, uh, double slap. Gust. Ooh, that's gonna... Wouldn't it be ironic if Reginald died in this episode, then we would have to kill Eskimoe? Oh, no. Please, no. I already made that rule. I have to stand by it now. Every time... Okay, here's the new deal. Anytime I break a Nuzlocke rule, we're gonna have to impose a harsher rule. <laughs> like, I'm gonna have to start limiting potions at some point. I gotta... I gotta be good here. I gotta be good. Oh, man. Like, at a certain point, it's like, okay, you can only use one potion per battle. Oh, crap. So play by the fucking rules, Tekking! Alright, I think we're done. Alright, are we out of the bug death forest? Oh, Tornina City, that's okay. We're in a new area. Yeah, new area. Alright. Let's heal. Thank you. Oh, man. That was scary. I never have luck with board games, like the ones in Pashisi Hall. I always die. Yeah, I might be doing that too, sir. This city is still under new construction. That's why it has so many narrow paths. Okay. Why would the newest city get the Magna Train? Uh, because it's the newest one. Last time I spoke to the gym leader, he wished he could dream. What's the big deal about dreaming anyway? So what, are we in Mock Town? <laughs> Dreams scare me. 
I don't know why, I just find that really funny. But no, seriously, are we like in Mock Town? Like, dreams aren't real, kid! There is no Sky Island! Reginald and SK Moe. Soul Link! Soul link -u. Oh man, that made me think of, um... Okay, does anybody remember a, a, an anime by the name of Mega Man NT Warrior? It was an anime that aired on the Kids WB. It was about, like... But Mega Man was, like, a real character that was, like, in a virtual world that was controlled by this kid, and they could, like, do a thing called Cross Fusion, I think it was. And it had a really good fucking soundtrack. It was like... He's like, Mega Man Cross Fusion! Dun 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 I love- I love that show! Yeah, 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 that was a good show, man. Yeah, I had one of those, um, like the little devices that they use to, like, combine and shit. Give me a few more great balls. Super repel. Uh, okay, I mean, yeah, it's probably best to have a few of those. I don't need an escape rope because we have Larvitar. He kind of covers our bases on that. Do we sell anything? Uh, that was a show? Oh, yeah, no, it was a show. I think it were games, too, but they were also shows. I actually think I bought one of the games once, and it was shit. Oh, yeah, we got a PP up now. Cool. Cool. What about you, old lady? Construction is on hiatus for now. So, construction is like Hunter Hunter. Sick burn. Actually, that was really sad. I miss Hunter Hunter. Uh. Tagashi, just make a clone of yourself that is like in a robot that can do it, please. A cherry berry. It took me longer than it should have to realize that all the berries in Pokemon are like peach. Pecha berry is a peach berry. Cherry berry is a cherry. It took me longer than I. I really should not challenge this gym. Hold on. This is probably not a good idea. Edison. All right, it's probably an electric gym. I'm gonna assume. Oh no! Edison lost all the color from his pick from his sprite. Where did you get that BG? I'm trying to do my own stream with this game, and I don't know where you get something that works without advertising. Where did you get that big? Oh, I thought you said BG. Where did you get that big? Oh, wait, no, it is BG. I don't know what you mean by BG, and I don't know where to get something that works without advertising. I, I don't know what you mean by, but what's BG? I don't get it. Uh, how dare you mock Battle Network? I like the show! The games were... I, mean, I just never got into them. Ah! Oh. oh, why did I do that? I'm fairly confident I'm not gonna fight him, because there's only one dude in here, but... I might have just... Oh, shit. I might have just doomed us all. Where'd you get that background? Oh, like, the back... Like, what do you mean, the background? Like, um, like, just X-Split in general, or just this? Because I got the background image from, like, uh, I got the background image from Google. Uh, if you're curious about the software I'm using, it's X-Split, uh, and you have to, I pay about eight bucks a month for this. But you can use OBS, too, and that's free, and it's the same basic effect. You can have X-Split as well for free, you just can't do as much with it. Please tell me I'm not fighting you. Ah, that's right. I'm a gym leader, and this is a gym. Okay, I think Edison, I think Thomas might be a little bit senile here. I suppose you're here for my badge. Well, the truth is, kid, I haven't accepted challenges for three full years now. How the fuck are you still a gym, then? I used to dream, but now I don't, and it depresses me oh so greatly. I used to go on so many adventures with my Pokemon. The wide green fields I enjoyed as a young lad are starting to vanish from my mind. Those who dream used to be what pushed me to move on. So, so they put a depressed gym leader in this game. No motivation to do anything. So until I find a way to dream once again, you're not gonna get a shot at my patch. So we have a chronically depressed man. Can I just go to the pharmacy and get him some antidepressants or something? Can I do that instead of try- I think that would be massively easier than trying to fix his depression. I am a vampire, not a goddamn psychologist, okay? Or psyche- or a psychiatrist, I guess, would be a more appropriate there. Oh, or he's like just an edgelord, yeah. 
Man, that dude is fucking depressing. Like, the entire room goes black and white whenever he starts talking. Like, this fog just emanates from him. I'm more curious on how this gym is up, like, because the gyms in the Pokemon world, aren't those, like, essentially, like, government buildings that the Pokemon League runs? Imagine, like, going in, like, I have to get my license renewed in, the, in a few days. Imagine if I walked into the DMV to get my license renewed, and the guy at the desk is just like, I haven't renewed a license in three full years. I'm just too depressed. Well, no shit, you work at the fucking DMV. <laughs> you still gotta do your fucking job. Have an intern do it. Hire somebody. That guy is just living in there. I imagine there's fucking food everywhere. He's just, just fucking laying on a couch all day, like, staring out a window. Like, my god, that guy's Pokemon are must be fucking ready to kill themselves. He doesn't do, probably doesn't do anything with his Pokemon. They're probably sitting in there freaking just bored out of their minds. Like, even if I do fix this guy's depression... Like, where do I even start with that? Like, do I seriously need to go to a pharmacy and pick him up some freaking, I don't know, I don't know a lot of anti, I don't know a lot, like, name an antidepressant, I don't know, but like, like, that would be easier, I think. Do you guys know how to give a person dreams? Maybe I'll give him a mon- I'll give him a copy of the One Piece manga, how about that? I'll go and get a fucking, like, okay. Hey man, you, you wanna know about dreams, here- here you go. Here, here's your dreams right here. Here, here's the story about one rubber boy wanting to, to become king of the pirates. Prozac. Yeah, let's just go get him some freaking Prozac. Botan City are sure rude. Man, Botan City. Okay, so we're going. And I made a Tagashi reference already. Do you have an execute? Would you want to trade for a Drifloon? Ah, uh, you know, Drifloon, that wouldn't be a bad trade, actually, because we'd get a ghost type. That wouldn't be too bad. If I caught- I tell you what, kid, if I ran into an Execute back in Laurel Forest, I would have definitely traded for a Drifloon, yeah. Zoloft and Prozac, yeah, something like that. Living here at the time like this, it's like being part of history. Alright. Does anyone know where I could buy some dreams? Where's the Mart? I don't, was I in the Mart in this city yet? I think I was. What about this place? Pachisi Hall. Okay, board games. Yeah, yeah. are you into board games? Oh, what the hell is this fresh hell? Welcome to the Pachisi board. It costs 2000 Holy shit, that's expensive. Um. Oh, so it's like a board? That's actually kind of a cool idea. Okay, I I'll give it to you. That's actually kind of fun. That looks like it would be fun. Look at all these different spots and shit. Like, I don't even know what half of these would indicate. I guess on that spot you would get like a poke you would get money on the pokeballs. I guess you would get an item on the skulls. I guess you'd have to fight. This actually looks kind of fun. No ghosts. This game is just about pure luck, which is why I always lose at this. No pity for an old man. You're still a little bit more cheery than that guy in the gym. Edison, damn Edison. You need to get back to inventing or something. Do it. Yeah, just let me let me explore a little bit more here. Okay. What's down here? The Pachisi board. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we can catch Pokemon on it. Well, this is a new area, and we haven't caught anything in the actual town, so cool. Alright, so this is Route 77. And I think I saw one over here. This is a... Oh, well, this is Route 82, but this is a surfing route, so we don't have a fishing pool, so that one. Can I borrow a boat? If you can't swim or you surf, I recommend heading back to the city. Okay, sir. I guess little inflatable rafts that can cross, like, 20 feet of water don't exist in this world. Oh, what's this place? Magnet train. All right, so this is the, uh... Yeah... The best reason to utilize save states. Oh, so you can catch a Pokemon there. Botan City is quarantined, and I don't have a pass to get to Johto or Kanto. So is there, like, a disease? There's, like, a zombie plague there? Oh, man, I would love it so hard if they incorporated, like, a zombie, like, a city that's plagued by zombies, and it's filled with nothing but, like, undead Pokemon. That would be great. Did Tekking just die on us? I, I think I did see the stream running a little laggy there. Where do you want to go? I... What? 
What? I, I could just go to Kanto? I'm starting to see a little bit of the reason why Game Freak kind of sent them a cease and desist order. Well, yeah, fuck it. Let's go to... Aw. Oh. Wait, do we have... Wait, 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 do we... What? Wait, do we have a Magnet Trade Pass? Are we going to Saffron? What the fuck? Huh? What? <laughs> I, I I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> you know what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> All right, we're back. Okay, so reset the game. Oh, no, I didn't reset the game. I, I save stated back where we were. I went through the freaking forest again. I, all I had to do was fight the two extra bug catchers, so that's, that's fine. I also switched out Mantis when we fought the Yanma, so she still got her XP. I did it, like, pretty much the exact same way. Okay, so uh, I'm going to load. I'm going to save again now that we're here. Oh, boy. All right, so I've also been told that I can go to Kanto... But I need a Magnet Train Pass, and the game glitched because I didn't have one. And, uh, I think that's more of an error of the game, if anything. Okay, so... Okay, so just stay away from the Magnet Train area for now. Now, what's over here? Alright, Route 83. Okay, so keeping with the logic that I had, we're gonna skip over a route. So, we can either go to Route 77, or we can go to Route 83. We, could, we have to skip one of those routes because of the whole handicap thing because of Reginald and uh, Eskimoe's lifelink shit. Ah, uh, so... I'm thinking about skipping uh, Route 83, this one we're on now. Because this is basically the route that connects us with uh, that Splooge City there, so yeah. And there might be a cave or something. You need to go to the region region in order per to progress. Okay, well, thanks for the update. Skip 77. Yeah, we're gonna... Okay, so we're gonna skip 83. Because I know I've never been to 77. All right. All right, so let's try to catch a new Pokemon here. I do have balls, right? Yeah. Oh, we have that Mystic Water. I'm gonna give that to Reginald. Yeah, I'll use the Confused Guard on somebody else. I'll actually give the Confused Guard to Dante. We have four freaking Water Stones, damn. Alright, let's see if we can... Okay, here we go, here we go, what do we got, what do we got? Oh shit, Fappy, I think you got level 21, god, that's crazy. Hey, wouldn't take a lot to level up the same level as Mantis. I think Fappy might have gotten a replacement. Yeah, Swift, it should... Swift definitely would probably not kill. Whoa, that- that is actually per- OW! That's loud! Calm down, Shinx! Damn. And I, I can't throw Reginald in to- to, you know, put it to sleep, because that's too dangerous. Level 21, and it knows electric moves. That's, uh, scary. I didn't get my balls out. I forgot to check. Alright, well... I guess we killed two routes in this, because I already said we're not going to do 83. Shit. I forgot to get my balls out. <clears throat> I forgot to get that ball, too. Yeah. You know what? I'm actually fine with that. I'm actually fine with that, you know? Uh, you know, we got a Hyper Potion. And, you know, we already have Fappy. Who honestly hasn't seen a lot of action lately, but we have Fappy. By the way, does Fappy... No, Fappy doesn't need a Thunderstone to evolve, does not he? No, 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 no. No, Fappy doesn't need a Thunderstone. I wonder if we can Mega Evolve in this game. <laughs> hey, technically it is, uh... Why did I not take everything? I, I guess I only took a few things out back then. I was probably not paying attention. As usual. Oh, because oh, because I had to reset. That's what did it. That's what did it. I had to reset the thing. I had to go back because it crashed. That's what screwed us over. 
that's what did it. Because I'm feeling like, didn't I already do this? Get all my shit out of the freaking thing? Okay, okay, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. All right. All right. No Mega Evolutions. Damn it. All right, so we got to go on the train. All right, fine. We'll go on the train, but I am saving before we do that. All right, cool. Now, let's go and do this. Hello. Where do you want to go? Reach on! All right, good. I don't need a pass for this one, apparently. All right, we made it! Botan City! Welcome to Botan. You can tell they were fans of Yu Hakusho. I mean, why else would they name it that? Are we gonna actually find Botan in this game? That would be hilarious. Someone gets run over by a car, and then Botan shows up. You better not be from now, Joe Bo Holy shit, did I just, like, walk into the- I feel like I'm a, I'm a freaking Yankee wandering into the Confederacy. Like, you better not be a fucking now, Joe. We don't take kindly to any now, Joe, people up in these parts. The ghosts up to the north keep playing nasty pranks on people. I'd wish they mind their manners. Me and my boss actually had a big discussion about ghosts today because my perspective on ghosts is this. I don't really believe in ghosts, but let me tell you something about ghosts. Do you? Because a lot of times in media, whenever you see ghosts, they always have their clothes on when they died. And, and I'm thinking, well, you can't have a bunch of naked people, but I always imagine, like, if you were going to become a ghost, you know, you're ethereal. You don't have a corporeal body anymore. Why would you look like the way you did when you were alive? And even if you did, you wouldn't have fucking clothes on. And we had this whole discussion, like, okay, so is, like, whatever outfit you're, like, whenever you see a ghost of, like, a Confederate soldier or somebody, they're always wearing their uniform, you know? And I'm like, uh, like, if I died at Dollar Tree, I don't want to be stuck wearing my Dollar Tree uniform for the rest of eternity. Like, how much would that suck? Ooh, another QR code thingy. Activate barcode scanner mode on my Pokedex. Uh, it says, Sapphire Egg, Route 75, Small Grass Patch. All right, so there's a sapphire egg, whatever the hell that is. Okay. There's like no, there's like no Pokemon Center here. I've been looking for a Pokemon Center. I can't find. What about the Mart? Do we get anything in the Mart? Anything interesting in the region? Region? No. Maybe they could choose how they look? Why? Okay, fine, but why would you choose to always be wearing your bloody Civil War uniform? Got an interview with, De with uh, Dollar, Tr Dollar Tree tomorrow. Was hoping for your blessing, loving the stream so far. Oh yeah, thanks man. Uh, yeah, it's not that hard. It's just your typical kind of job interview thing. You'll be fine. We're the only town that still bothers to farm. Oh yeah, look at all these, look at all this rose farming you're doing here. Okay. Sorry, Botan City's quarantined until the boss says it's okay. Oh, you're stuck in there? Oh well, not my problem. Piss off, vamp bitch. I think I'm being discriminated. I am being discriminated for being a vampire, sir! Ghosts can change their landscape. So is it quarantined because it's infested with ghosts? Haunted for- A haunted forest with a creepy Pokemon theme. My life is complete, sir. Please tell me we can run into like a Mistrevis in here or something. That's going to be beautiful. And Briar, as an emo vampire girl, has found her home. She's like, oh, the haunted forest. This is, this is my kind of place. We have, but we have nine balls. We have the nine balls. Oh, this is creepy. This is fucking creepy. These trees looks like they could be cut. They've been cut down years ago. This is actually genuinely cool. Is there a fucking graveyard? Oh my god, it's a poke graveyard. Yes! Fucking Shuppet, man! Oh wait! Wait, doesn't Shuppet have an evolve form? Please tell me Shuppet has an evolve form in this version. 
Yeah, it's that fucking thing with a- it looks like a fucking- like a witch's hat. I forget what it's called. Wait, no, am I thinking of another Pokémon? Please tell me Shuppet has an evolved form. That would be so damn cool. But that- Oh, that's right! Oh, no, 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 no! I'm thinking of Mistrevis's evolved form. Shit! Mistrevis's evolved form is so damn cool! Miss Margagus or something. I would love to have a Miss Margagus. Aw, oh, man, all we could get is a fucking possessed voodoo doll. That sucks. This is my least favorite episode. We go into the haunted forest and all we could get is a possessed voodoo doll. God damn it. Mistrevis better not be in this damn freaking graveyard. All right, fine, whatever. All right, it's level 20. Oh shit, we got Frist. That, okay, Frist is probably... Well, I don't know. Frist might come in handy if a lot of the- if the programmers of this game decided to give a lot of Pokémon, like, berries and shit, like, when we get to, like, the Elite Four. That- that might be pretty cool. <sighs> Damn it. Alright, um... I don't see any reason why Reginald couldn't just put it to sleep. Let's just use Reginald. Oh shit, it's identifying me! Miss Magius. Yeah, that's a cool name, Miss Magius. Ah, I know it's confused. Ah, that's... It's not... Look, 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 look. It's not a bad Pokemon. I just... Am I the only one that thinks Shuppet looks way cooler than Banette? Because I think they don't even really look like the same Pokemon. I, I think it's like a completely... It's, it's a weird design difference, you know, between generations. I mean, between evolutions. I mean, f I guess I'm fine. I mean, it's a ghost type, whatever. And I think Banette is just straight up ghost, right? I think it is. Come on, Reginald. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to put it to sleep. I'll try one more time. Oh, awesome, clutch. Okay, cool. Alright. Sleepy time, Shuppet. Sleepy time, Shuppet. Alright. Um. I'm gonna throw... Uh, well, the Sing and Great Ball strat works. Let's just try one Great Ball. Let's see where it gets us. Probably not gonna work. Or... Okay, cool! We gotta shop it! Yeah, Mega Banette is cool. But we don't have Mega Evolutions in this. Alright, it's the puppet Pokemon. It feeds on the dark emotions of the sadness and hatred. Oh shit! We bring this guy over to Edison and it just eats his depression and then we call it a day. Alright guys, what are we naming the sup the Shuppet? I kinda... I like the Danny Phantom. I like that. I like that. So, and uh, by the way, don't tell Dan Fan. I don't want a copyright issue here. I'm naming it Danny. Can we fit Phantom? No, we cannot. Danny, um... <laughs> we, we could spell it like it's spelled in, um... We could spell it like in, uh, like in Black Butler, like Funtum. <laughs> Danny Phantom. Phantom. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go with that. Danny Phantom. Danny, I swear to God, if we catch, if there's a Mistrevis, I, I know, okay, here's my obsession with Mistrevis. Mistrevis is, like, I think the, the, the only ghost Pokemon that was introduced in Gen 2. I think it's, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I think it's the first straight-up ghost Pokemon in the entire game. Because the original, like, Gengar and, and Ghastly and Haunter, they were all ghost poison. And Mistrevis is suspiciously absent from all of Gen 2. Like, like even Morty, who is a ghost-type trainer in Gen 2, does not have a Mistrevis. So that's kind of weird. I always like Mistrevis, and having a Miss Magius was the freaking- This is the name, and, and the hat. It's so cool. Let's go into the cemetery. Anything in the cemetery? I swear to Christ. Okay, okay, ghastly. Ghastly! Learn up on those gas types, Tekken. Well, I'm assuming fire explodes gas, so this would probably work. 
Yeah! I learned up. All I need to know is fire ignites gas. That's all I need to know. Can we read the tombstones? Oh, that red tombstone off to the left looks foreboding. Don't be a Miss Magius. Okay. Don't be a mischievous. This music's giving me the trills. Oh, they are. That's actually a really good soundtrack. I'm, I'm digging on that. I am digging on that. Poison would have been good on the fairies. That is true. That would just be true. It would be cool to get a poison type. Who knows, though? Shuppet might be able to learn some poison moves. It's a red gravestone. Touch it. Uh, I don't like that you're giving me an option to. Oh, that would be so crazy if they put Buried Alive in here. Buried Alive was a poke was one of those one you know in Pokemon Black, you know in Pokemon I think it was like um, uh, what was it Pokemon Pitch Black or something like that. It was like a fa it was like one of those Pokemon games like in a creepy pasta. It really exists as a ROM that uh, will kill you or some shit. Gosh. Gas also ignites fire, though, so be careful. Well, well, we're faster and we have flame wheel. I think we'll be fine. Shup it! Shup it. Oh, look at Shup it's eyes. It went all like Renegon there for a second there. I just like Gengar's grin. Gengar is pretty cute. Oh, and it's a Haunter. I wonder what Haunter's gonna- Oh yeah, Haunter had a Gen 2 sprite, yeah. I was like, ooh, one of my favorite sprites is the Gen 1 Haunter. It's fucking terrifying. Go look back at Gen 1 Haunter. It's so cool. I mean, I'll throw it up when I'm editing this, but go and look it up. It's fucking horrifying. Teching, there's only Shuppets and Ghastlies. Alright, well, if that's the situation, I'm definitely glad we caught a Shuppet. Just because Ghastly's too basic. It's the basic ghost. I don't like basic ghosts. I, I, I'm kind of delaying from touching that, that tombstone. I'm kind of scared to touch that tombstone. An insevere and evil friend. Oh, wait! How does, uh... Hey, guys, how does... Ghost is neutral against fairy, right? Ah, oh, Duskull looks pretty fucking cool. And remember, Duskull only has the one eye. I'm just- I'm just trying to get some options for fucking Mantis to level up, you know what I mean? I really want Mantis to level up. What if you touch it and get a new Pokémon? I would let it- I would- okay. If there's something in the game, because I don't know everything about this game, if there's a moment in the game where I get a new Pokemon, like it's it's like there's just just given to me without me being aware of it, I'm gonna release it if I've already caught a Pokemon on that route, alright? I, I have no idea of knowing how that works, okay? Another Shuppet. Um This is gonna I, I want Mantis to get some XP, okay? I just want Mantis to get some. But then again, Ghost is super effective on... No, I'm too scared. I'm too scared. Eskimoe is just pure ice, right? Yeah, okay. Eskimoe will be fine. Let's just go with Eskimoe. Ghastly's the basic bitch ghost. Alright, that'll only do 22 damage, right? Yeah, we're fine with that. Icy wind. It is a... Oh, it's the same level as I am. Alright, that's gonna do another 22. Alright. Switch out with Reggie. Oh, please don't know Pursuit. Please don't know Pursuit. Okay. Alright, we're good. Oh! That looked like it would have killed. Maybe not, not Reginald, but you know what I mean. Dark Ball sounds scary. <laughs> Dark Ball sounds scary, guys. I'm scared. Oh shit, it's making me laugh! Whoa! -ho. All right, let's make a mental note of that. Um, gas is either super effective on water or fairy. I'm assuming fairies, because you're gassing them. I'm imagining someone taking a fucking, um, taking a fucking like uh, pesticide and spraying a fairy garden. Oh man, we're really... Uh, gas super effective on, uh... 
Yeah, well, we do have Mr. Savage. Mr. Savage does have foresight. He could punch, he could bitch slap a ghost. Oh my god, is this super effective on Mr. Savage? It's a gas type, I have no idea of knowing. What the fuck?! Holy shit, we almost lost Mr. Savage! Oh no! Mr. Savage is entering the danger zone! Oh no. Okay, uh, okay, yeah. Larvacroft, please tell me you're, you're good, because... If not, we are f probably kind of f Why? This is an overpowered move. It might just be- it just might be like everyone on my team- Okay. 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 Holy shit. That- I think that kind of pretty much- that pretty much sealed your fate there. Just hurry up and kill it. Aw, oh, god damn it, it has levitate. Fuck! Uh, okay, well... God damn it. Okay, just, just hurry. It, it doesn't do... Uh, okay, it doesn't do successive damage. Okay, just... Oh, uh, we're locked in now. Alright, alright, we're good, we're good. I know Levitate still exists, but I thought it didn't have it. I thought it had something else or something. Shut up. Oh, Reginald can learn Rollout. Yeah, okay. Alright, we can do that. Yeah, sure. Um. Um, I think, uh, I think Tackle's kind of run its course. Let's get rid of that. Alright. Cut Rollout. That's a good move. Okay. Oh. Oh, man. Well, at least Mr. Savage leveled up. Damn it. Holy crap. Yeah, we need to grind, like, big time. Oh. Hot damn. Can I... Can I use... Le can I use teleport? Okay. And I did not see a Pokemon Center in that town, though. We might have to go all the way back. Fuck it. Dig us out of here. Dig us out of this haunted forest. There has to be a rest house or something. That would be so weird if it didn't have a fucking Pokemon Center. Okay, there's the train station. What the hell? I mean, we could always just go back. I mean, it's not a big deal if we could just go back infinitely. Uh, watch out for Destiny Bond! I know. got our shit wrecked. Oh. Now, Joe, please. Alright. Oh. <laughs> oh. Nobody died! Nobody died! Alright? We're good. Damn. Damn, son. Alright. Okay, now. Yeah, we, we need to do some serious grinding. I, I'm, I'm surprised I've made it through this as far as this episode as I have already. I'm dropping a fucking super repel. Do, oh, do I not have those anymore? Oh, I think it's because I reset the thing again. I don't have any. Fuck it. Alright. Oh, let's try touching that tombstone. Oh. You know, Briar entered, entered this graveyard like, Oh, this is my home. The denizen of the night. But now she's legitimately getting terrified. Like, she's walking through the dark forest like, yeah, Okay, I'm a vampire. I'm, I'm a denizen of the night. And it's like, caw, caw, ah! Freaking Murkrows are flying all over the place. <laughs> It doesn't do anything. Okay. Alright. Ah. Nobody died yet, Tekken. Nobody died yet. Alright. Oh. oh, is it a puzzle? Do we have another puzzle on our hands here? Oh, Zubat. A terrifying... Oh, I thought it was gonna be like a level 30 Zubat. 
What's down here? Yeah, oh, oh, good. That'll, that'll sell for a good price, actually. It's too spoopy. Oh, now it's a haunted house. Great. I love the fact that they included a haunted house, though. I'm very happy with this. She always told me that the colors of the rainbow in order were red, gray, blue, yellow, brown, and teal. Okay, well that was obvious. That was obvious. Okay, so red... Okay, someone's gonna have to write that down for me. Hold up. Red, gray, blue, yellow... Red, gray, blue, yellow, brown, and teal. Okay. Yes, someone's gonna write that down, alright? Alright, so red is red is first then. Okay. Oh man, I really wish we had some super repels. This is gonna be fucking annoying. Uh This is a new area, right? The haunted house is I get well, I only considered it a new area when the sign actually pops up and says you're in a new area. Like I, it didn't come up and say anything. It's still haunted forest, so I don't think that counts. Hey, it's better than the haunted house in X and Y. Yeah, the haunted house in X and Y was such a freaking disappointment. Damn it! All right, we got we gotta go. We're gonna go buy some fucking super repels. This is ridiculous. This is redonkulous. All right. Gotta keep those ghosts away, man. I ain't afraid of no ghost. All right, give me like yeah. We have a lot of money. Give me like ten. No, okay, don't give me ten. Give me like five. And while you're at it, I'm gonna try to sell that Stardust. Only 900? Really? I think that sells way more on the freaking Johto market, I'm just saying. Red- now, okay, now you're just fucking with me. Red, teal- yeah, now you're just fucking with me here. It was red, gray, yellow, blue, Brown and teal. I think teal was last. Okay, now we're looking for gr uh, gray. Okay, that's blue. Oh, that's obviously blue. That was some good coloring you did there, guys. Um, they all looked gray to me. Oh, that. Okay, there's the gray one. Okay. Leave nothing, no matter where you read it or who said it. No matter if I have, matter if I have said it, unless it agrees with your own reason and your own common sense. Okay, so you're crazy, Miriam Chigakyo. Dusk. Oh boy. Uh, that's level twenty-two. W what really fucked us up was that damn laughing gas thing. Oh. Foresight. It's locating. I mean, I know Dante has been pretty much the star of this episode, but you guys saw what happened. That was a long battling speech. Yeah, really. Just cut right to the chase, lady. I don't got all day. I am a vampire. You know what I just thought of when I was thinking about Briar walking through the forest was, um, anyone ever see the animated Legend of Sleepy Hollow? That was kind of scary when I was a kid. The Headless Horseman is kind of inherently scary. A fucking guy that, you know, lost his head and replaced it with a fucking pumpkin. That is pretty fucking terrifying. Riding around on a fucking horse like, ha 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 That fucking scared the shit out of me as a little kid. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Double kick wouldn't work. Let's just use- yeah, let's just continue to the flame. The one by Disney? I, I do believe it was. There was also a Scooby-Doo episode that had the Headless Horseman that I remember was kind of freaky. I'm also remembering from the Scooby-Doo one. Because I think the Scooby-Doo one had the guy, like, he was, like, 
the headless horseman, but he held up his fucking, like, human head, and the human head, like, talked. That was kind of freaky. Okay. Alright. Yellow is next, I think. Yellow. Oh, yellow was over here. Yellow was right over here, yeah. Yes. Thank you, game. Damn it. It was red. I thought it was red, gray, yellow. I was sure it was red, gray, yellow. Okay. No, it was blue, yellow. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, th this is the kind of puzzle I can get behind. This kind of puzzle ain't hard. Although, this puzzle is so remarkably easy, I'm starting to feel like they might have programmed it for a re- a blue was down here. Unless there's more parts to this. Because this seems really easy. Because the lady literally told me what order to do it in. Red, gray, yeah, blue, red, gray, Blue, yellow, brown. Okay, brown's down here. Or, they could just have had the puzzle to be annoying because you're constantly walking around this graveyard and having to run into Pokemon and shit. Maybe that's why they set the counter rate so high. Alright, so go back down there for the brown one. And then, what was the last one? Fucking teal? That's such a random color. Just say green. Did you know teal was the color of Custer's last shirt? If you could tell me what show that reference is from, I swear to god. Ooh, this is a TM. Oh, we got Nightshade! Sweet. Okay, now we need Teal. Fucking Teal. Yeah, I guess that's- that's not Teal! That is not fucking Teal. Teal is like a, uh, like a- like a green color. Yeah, it's like a dark green for teal. Oh, I already got some Pokemon Prism fan art somebody sent me. Awesome. Come on, guys. That's not teal. Let's be honest here. That's like a that's like a that's like a dark blue. That's like uh that's like a navy blue at best. Yeah, that's not teal. Whatever. Oh shit. Fucking zomb- Oh. Oh. Okay. Thank you, zombie! What just happened? Did a zombie crawl like- Like- yeah. Holy shit, zombies! Yeah. Here's the key. Okay, thank you. Alright. Thanks for using zombie groundskeeping services. Yeah. Then he crawls back under the- That was an extremely helpful zombie. Oh, uh, now I really want to see the fan art of that. I want to see fan- not- not to overexert my fan artist, because you're all doing amazing jobs, but... I want to see fan art of her walking around, and I also want to see art of that fucking hand coming out of the ground, and Briar being like... Like, reaching out to grab the key. <laughs> I think there's so many, so many possibilities with this graveyard. This is still the same area. Hmm. Just how did you figure out how to get the spare key? Your daughter literally told me how to get the spare key. Alright, I'm- I'm waiting for one of these damn Pokémon to have, like, a level 30. Like, I'm waiting for it. Or put the zombie back in, like, Luffy- oh yeah! That's such a fucking awesome scene of One Piece. Void Spear, what the hell? What the hell did you- Oh, it didn't do anything. Damn, you had an attack called Void Spear that instantly sounded like you were gonna suck me into a pocket universe. But yeah, that scene where Luffy just on Thriller Bark just walks up and just pushes the zombie back in. That shit was fucking hilarious. Now, I don't know if I want to see Briar doing that now, because that would be funny. Instead of- instead of freaking out over the key, Briar just, like, 
pushes, like, grabs it, just kind of pushes it back down. I don't know. Have fun with it. B, do your own thing. I don't even really care. I'm just happy to get fan art. At least you're being very predictable with the ghost types. Blabber of a granddaughter. Hey, man, don't talk about your granddaughter like that. Oh! A dining table. Cool. Alright, I'll take the, uh, I'll take the steak. I'll take that well done. Um, fucking steak fries. No, I don't want fucking steak fries. Uh, no, not coleslaw. Uh, onion rings. I'll take a side of order of onion rings. Thanks. Fuck's my food. Okay. This is the haunted mansion. You order your food and it never arrives! Oh, thank you. That was nice. After you sent me through that fucking haunted graveyard. What's here? Awesome! Rare candies. Grandma's on the crack again. Oh, it's the haunted kitchen. The haunted kitchen! Awesome! That'll power up, uh, Danny. So far, this haunted mansion's been very helpful. Oh shit, then Eddie Murphy shows up to fight me. <laughs> remember the Haunted Mansion with Eddie Murphy? I remember the Haunted Mansion with Eddie Murphy. Daikoko! Oh, wait! We have a fairy type! I think the only thing that is super effective on Sableye is fairy. And we do- okay. We have Draining Kiss. That is a fairy type move. And that would be super effective on this thing. But the question is, can Sableye kill Mantis? That's the question. Uh, hmm. I'm... I really... Really don't want to risk it. Do not switch in Curlia, Matt. It will die. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll keep the strat. We'll keep the strat. Yeah, Mantis will die, like, definitely. But yeah, I think, I think I'm think i right when I say fairy is the only thing that's- Oh, shit. Come on, Dante, come on, let's crit, let's get this over with. It's level 26, Sableye. Those things can fuck. Those things can screw you over. Okay, that shouldn't kill me. Yeah, we're good. Okay, we're good. I thought his name was Daifuku for a second. Yeah, I kind of did too. Alright, oh wow, we got 500 people watching. I was always under the impression that you guys didn't really care for these Let's Plays, you know, because they get less views than my One Piece reviews do. Like, my One Piece reviews, well, I think what happens is because One Piece usually is my flagship thing. That's the thing I get most views on. Well, no, I get, I get a lot of views on the One Punch Man stuff too. But uh, it's also because I have to take these down and then re-upload them. And so all of the views that you get during live, that's all lost because of that. So I think that's why it's a little lower, but whatever. Or just people don't- Oh, that- Oh. Oh. Okay. Cool. Th thanks for the chest. You're not ready to come down here. Oh, well, hey, at least that's cool. At least that gives us, like, another thing to look forward to later on. So is that, like- Oh, bedroom key. Okay. Awesome. I prefer my steak as bloody as allowed by the FDA. I used to. Oh, that is. Oh, that is fucking beautiful. Look at that fucking Gen 2 sprite of Spear Tomb. That is so goddamn good. That is terrifying. Look at that damn thing. That is legitimately scary. Oh, great pressure. That's gonna lower up Pepe. Alright, let, let's heal up. Dante, you've been- Dante is the fucking warrior of hell that's sending all of these ghosts back to- back to where they belong. Back to the fifth level of hell, Spare Tomb! Back with you! With the flames of damnation! 
I know, it's dark and ghost. I think, I think also fairy is the only thing that would really hurt this thing. Because for the longest time, I know Sableye and Spiritomb, because of their dark ghost typing, they didn't have any weakness. And then when Fairy came along, that was their weakness. Dante's the Fleece Johnson of this run. I like ya, and I want ya. Now we can either do this the easy way or the hard way. The choice is yours. I don't think- Oh, I see we're one doing this the hard way, then. Briar opened the chest and received another bedroom key. Yeah, that was an awesome sprite. I like that. I think some cool fan art could come out of this. Oh, you needed two keys. Alright. Oh, shit. You're like the- You're like the boss Gengar of this place. I have a feeling. Ah, uh, I don't know if I should fight you. Could Dante take on this boss Gengar? Not without healing, he ain't. Uh, it's level 31. Do we have anything, any, um... Any berries that could cure poison? Because if this thing has a poisoning move, yeah. I'm being smart. I would take the anti-poison over the fucking anti-confusion any day. Because that way we don't have to use up a turn to use antidote. Let's do it. <laughs> the dreams come to me now! I was starving! Ready for bedtime! Oh god, is this Gengar about to fucking rape- okay. That's scary. Oh, shit. Uh... Guys, am I high right now? Because I think I'm seeing rainbows and Pop-Tarts in a Pokemon Let's Play. I... Is this the fucking Bifrost Bridge? I don't... I, um, okay, I, I'm gonna need a few minutes, hours, days to process this, so I think we're going to end it here. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. What the fuck? Okay, hey guys, uh, teching here again at the end. We're gonna go through some fan art. Uh, once again, as I said in the beginning of this video, uh, if you're going to send me fan art, you can still tweet it at me, that's fine. I might retweet it if I see it, uh, but I've been getting a lot of fan art, so I'm like, I can't, you know, I don't see everything. Things always, you know, get behind me, and then if I wait, like, longer than a day or so, then I can't really find it on Twitter. So really, if you want it to be in the video, and just easier for me to organize, then just send it to my email, teching101 at gmail.com, really simple. Um, so we're gonna go through a lot of the fan art that we've had some of this i've shown before some of it i haven't is just this is all the fan art that i think i've had since the last time i showed it off right so the first we have is this um this is a poster of fappy the third as a flaffy and this was done by tanner so thank you very much tanner um and i think he also uh, included in the email he sent me like please don't let fappy die and i'm like hey look We've had Fappy the original. Go back and watch my Crystal Nuzlocke if you want to know all about Fappy the original. And that 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 Ampharos was awesome. That Ampharos knew Thunder Punch and Fire Punch. I think it was like One Punch Fappy was the freaking um was the joke there. So I I I'm kind of afraid Fappy the Third has not actually been in the roster the last few episodes because I'm afraid to lose her. But yeah, so that's Fappy the Third artwork. Thanks, Tanner. This one is from Cameron. And Cameron took on the task <laughs> of trying to make a Tyranitar look like Laura Croft. Um, you know, I think you did as good as you could possibly do, considering it's a giant Godzilla-looking Pokemon. Um, nice rack. Nice rack. I gotta, I gotta give it to, to, to Larva Croft there, so I might very well use that. Um... 
Then we have, uh, this is the one I showed in this episode. This is from Hector Roman. Hector did a lot of artwork, and I'm going to include a DeviantArt link below to Hector, because Hector did a lot of artwork for, for Briar. I think at least five different images of Briar that uh, he drew. And this is the most recent one. This is Briar and Brooklyn, the, the third gym leader there. Um, the original version of this, and I cut it out, but there was originally a background to this that had, like, Briar with a little thought bubble that's like, damn, she's cute, so... Yeah, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little gay, but it's okay. Okay, so here is uh, the artwork of the Pupitar larva croft, which I did not think it would be possible to make the Pupitar look like. And I just noticed just now you gave her a bikini. I just, I didn't even see the bikini top. I just noticed the short, the the, the boy shorts and the freaking sunglasses. But this is sent by uh, fan made anime. So thank you. The nice little quick little drawing there of uh of Larva Croft as a as a Larva a Laura, Laura Croft Pupitar. Okay. This one's from Ryan Butler. This is a wanted poster for Briar. Dead or alive, ten thousand berries. I think that's a little low for crimes against the Power Rangers, but I think we can work on that. I think we can up that um that bounty up throughout the story. This next one is from Camden Dixon. And uh, this is a play, I think I, I made a reference of Briar being similar to the Count from the Sesame Street. You know, you know, the Sesame Street. I never watched it, really, when I was a kid. Uh, the Count from Sesame Street. So, uh, here you go. Here, here's, here's Briar counting a bunch of numbers. I, I hope we don't get a, a number puzzle at some point in the game. We probably will. Okay, I retweeted this on Twitter, but I have to show it again because it's so fucking awesome. This is another one from Hector. And this is going to be the reference from I, I, I made of Alexa and me riding a Rapidash, you know, storming the place. Like, we are together here because Alexa apparently has uh, Pokemon information on her. Like, I, I think it's just because it's right... I knocked over my Nami figure. I think it's because it's ripped right from Google. But if you ask her a simple question, like if I was going to ask uh, Alexa, what Pokemon type is Rapidash? Rapidash is a fire type Pokemon. So it's. It, I think if you just type in Rapidash in in Google, you'll actually get like a little info card about Rapidash or whatever. So that's pretty cool though. But that is actually very handy because my Echo is right next on my desk, and if I really don't have time to think, or if I just you know don't want to pick up my cell phone or wait for you guys to respond, I can just ask. Now it doesn't work for every single Pokemon, especially with the Pokemon that have really hard to pronounce names. Alexa, what Pokemon type is Masquerin? something I found on Wikipedia. Yeah. Tiger Mask is a Japanese yeah. series written by... Yeah. No, 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 no. So it's, it's, it's hit or miss with her whenever I'm, you know, up against a Pokemon that has an easy pronounceable name with, with English syllables, then I'll, uh, I'll maybe use her. This one is from Russell, and this is, uh, this shows Briar in a little bit more of a lewd position. <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm fine with that, Briar, in a, in a little more, like, just chilling out in her bed, like, hi, how you doing? Um, what's next? Is that all of them? Is that all of them? No, there's one more from Double Weiss, Double Weiss, Double Weiss. Uh, this is one that might have, uh, this was an earlier one, as you could tell, because all my Pokemon are in their first level, but this was a little bit earlier on. But, uh, yeah, this one from Double Weiss. And I think this was another one that I also missed, uh... This is, uh, Mr. Savage, oh yeah, when he becomes a macho. Uh, here's another one from Dominic, that's also a macho, Mr. Savage, oh yeah! So, that's the thing, Mr. Savage, yeah. I should go back and watch some Randy Savage wrestling, because I'm not a huge wrestling fan, but even I know who Randy Savage is. Okay, so that is all of the fan art I think I have right now. Like I said, I know I missed a few bits. I knew there was one of Dante, and Dante had like a scythe blade. So please, if you are watching this, and if you drew that, please send it to my email, because I want to show that off, because I thought that was pretty fucking cool. I only got to see it the one time, and I thought, like, I'll just make a mental... I think I saw it on my phone, and I was like, okay, I'll make a mental note of that. And I didn't remember until the next day, and I went to go get it off Twitter, and I couldn't find it. So, And I couldn't remember who made it. So if you made that, please send it to me for, through Google, Gmail, or through Twitter, preferably through Gmail, because I could, you know, that, that doesn't go away. I could keep that. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, and uh, I look forward to seeing all of, my, of your fan art of Briar in the Haunted Forest. I think that would be some good shit. So, uh, yeah, th thanks for watching, everybody. Techie101 signing out. Later.